Hello to all members of the PrimeNG community. Today we will be creating our own custom PrimeNG themes. PrimeNG has a lot of themes to choose from, but in case you would like to customize an existing theme or create your own, then this is how. So uh, there are a couple of ways actually. The easiest one is logging on to designer.primeng.org. And first you need to choose a base theme. Uh, we have Material Bootstrap, our own Lara, so and so on. So let's choose Lara Light, and you will see that on the left side there's a menu and it says that uh, this visual editor will be replaced with a new advanced one because um, Prime NG Design um, API has a lot of variables and tokens and this one mostly covers the most important ones like colors but the new one will be able to uh, style uh, will we'll give more control over the, each component so that you can uh, style each component using a UI. So, uh, but this one is quite handy even uh, right now. So for example, let's change the um, primary color. For example, the buttons, you know, that are changed now, we can change the uh, hovers and so on as well. Primary darker colors. And now you can see that it's changing. For example, on the right side, we have a list box. There's a highlight background. It should be this one. Let's change this as well. And text on highlight, a darker color. And there's an input border um, and the focus shadow. That should be on the forms. The hover border can be, again, the purple-ish color. And the focus border could be more or less something similar. And the focus background, this is the ring. Um, let's see. And the focus outline. Okay, now once you're happy with your theme and hoping that you spend more time, you can just go and download it. Okay, here's my theme. Now I'll be using Sakai, our free admin template uh, for this. So this is Sakai on the left side. Here I can just add the assets folder. I can just put my theme here and let's see. Here's my generated theme that I downloaded from Visual Editor. From a location like Styles SCSS, I can just import assets theme.css, save it, and let's see. Okay, now Sakai is running with my new theme, uh, which works quite good. Okay. Now the second one is, you know, the Prime NG SAS uh, theme API. It's available on GitHub right now. So this is the URL that I'll be showing in the video uh, command section as well. So first you need to download the version that matches your Prime NG version. For example, let's open up Sakai on the right side. Okay. Here I'll be using, I'll be, I will try to, for example, uh, show you how. So this is the theme base, like the design stuff, the design uh, SSS structure of the components are here. And the themes are, you have full access to all variables, everything like the material themes, bootstrap, everything here. And there's also a special my theme folder. For example, this is your theme. You have, for example, full access to the buttons, data, forms, everything's here, but let's just change the primary color to from here to something like this and maybe a bit darker okay now you can just go you you first need to compile this scss and then import it if you have inst if you have sas installed you can just go to themes my theme and it will give you the theme file. Now we can just get this one, copy it and move it to 
here. Okay, now this is the theme I generated from the, uh, the, the GitHub project, the SAS theme. Okay, now if you check out Sakai, since Angular CLI watches your changes, now it's using um, my generated theme from the Prime NG SAS theme, so it's the green one. Okay, and the third one, in, in case you don't want to, um, this is nice if you have a shared team among different projects that you just want to distribute theme CSS, but uh, there's another way uh, which uh, lets the Angular CLI build the CSS and import it in your project. So this is also fun. Okay, for example, what you can do is that you can get theme base and move it to assets and also create a themes file. Let's remove this one, create a themes folder and then get my theme to here. Okay, now I have theme base and themes and I only have my theme. So let's change, for example, this one, let's do something different. Okay, now notice that the SSS structure is in my project, which is in this case Sakai. Okay, let's run ng serve and also at styles here should be assets, themes, my theme. Notice that this should be SCSS now because I'm instructing English CLI that I'm using SCSS, the CLI should compile it instantly and import it in my project. Okay, now let's see Sakai. Okay, it also works now that you can see my new theme. Well, what I like about this approach is that you can design and you can see your theme in action within your application, right? So for example, let's uh, make the inputs bigger. This is in the forms, input padding, Should maybe one REM. And now the inputs are bigger, right? I mean, you can just play with this. Maybe there's a border radius here somewhere. Yeah, let's remove or make it, make them, re maybe, maybe you can just remove the, all the border radiuses and so on. And this is quite nice that you can see everything in action and you have full control over all the variables. Um, so that's it uh, to give us uh, to give you a summary. Uh, Prime NG uh, theming is now uh, fully open source and you can have full control over all SCSS variables. And we are going to uh, be providing an individual editor that gives you um, full access uh, over these variables using a UI so that you don't have to go through these commands and see what it does. We will have separate sections for each component on the new visual editor, uh, which you can log on and save your themes, export them. Also Prime NG theming is going through um, some changes, some great enhancements. We are migrating to CSS variables. Uh, in a backward compatible way, which is replacing SCSS variables to CSS variables so that we can provide more dynamic uh, styling. Also, there's a new unstyled mode is coming up so that you can just ignore all this and you just trigger, you just set unstyled true so that you can style prime NG components using Lyrelax Tailwind. And also we are uh, exposing the component internals, like for example, you will have access to this filter input, all these uh, highlight items and so on um, so that the components are not you know uh, black boxes anymore you will have full control over the internal so a lot of things going on uh, this is an exciting year so that's it i hope you like this video uh, don't forget to if you if you're happy with your theme don't forget to share them because we're planning to create um, a web page on the new prime on the prime menu documentation where you can just share the themes with the community and get other people's nice looking things 
That's it for now. Thank you for joining me and see you on the next one. Thank you.